Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of Selenium WebDriver, I'm going to practically demonstrate how to handle auto-suggestive dropdown fields. So let's get started. What exactly is a auto-suggestive dropdown field? Let me show you first in a manual way. Okay, this is an example website, makemytrip.com, where you can find an auto-suggestive dropdown field. Let me open this in the browser. And I'll show you one example of an auto suggestive drop down field on this website. Here, guys, there is a daily option. Let me click on that. Now, when I click on the daily option, I got an auto suggestive drop down field here. So you see, it's a drop down field, right? It's a drop down field, and that too, it is an auto suggestive drop down. So whatever I type here, I'll get suggestions here. Okay, in the drop down field, I'm going to get suggestions. For example, if I type G here, I'm going to get the suggestions like Goa, Goati, and all those stuff. Okay, and now I can select a uh, any of the option and press enter, you see that particular option will get selected in the auto suggestive drop down field. So, how to handle this? Okay, let's say if I refresh this page and you know by default what I'm getting. So, when I was opening it for the first time, let's see what is coming. I'll open in the new incognito mode and I'll type make my trip.com here. So, this is what is the original thing that is going to happen when you open the automation script, uh, when you open this application using your Selenium Python automation script, you'll go to this website. And now you see by default, Delhi is coming here. By default, Delhi is coming here. I want to type here. I type G here. And after typing G, I want to select this Gorakhpur. Okay, I want to select this Gorakhpur option. So for that, I'll use my keyboard keys down, down, down like that. Okay, so let me type G here. And after that, uh, down option. Okay. Down, down. Okay. This is G. One, two, three. Three times I have to press the arrow key down and press enter key on my keyboard. Then this Gorakhpur will be selected. So let me do the same thing with my automation code. So for that, I'll open this PyCharm ID where we have some sample Selenium Python code already written for opening the Chrome browser, then for maximizing the browser window. And I'll copy this URL here, this application URL. I'll just copy paste from the after browsing in the application. In the browser, I'll copy this URL and uh, paste it here in the script. Okay, it will open this application URL. And after that, what I want to do, I want to click on this option. Okay, so let's say here Delhi is there by default. Assume that Delhi is there here. Or else I'll open this in the incognito mode. That will be more better. Right click inspect and uh, incognito mode. So by default, which uh, city is coming here? Delhi is coming here. So I want to click on this Delhi. I want to click on this Delhi. I write, you say when I right click here, Delhi is going off. I cannot inspect this Delhi, right? So I'll write it somewhere else on the page and I'll get this Google Chrome Dev Tools like this. Now, instead of right clicking and in selecting inspecting option here, what I'm going to do here is in this Google Chrome Dev Tools, I'll, I'll see an option here. You see this option, select an item element to inspect, select this and select this Delhi option and select it. Okay. You see the HTML code of this Delhi option is coming here. It has an ID. Copy this ID and come back here and write down driver dot find driver dot find okay element by dot id is there na? by dot id and give the id of that particular daily option that is from cd's id and simply say dot click dot click once i click on this uh, daily then you'll get this uh, drop down field inspect this inspect this is an id uh, inspect this uh, this is actual auto suggestive drop down field and see if that has an ID. It doesn't have any ID here. Right click inspect this and this is HTML code we are getting. Is there any way we can uh, create, you know, a placeholder is there, input tag is there, placeholder. placeholder. I'll copy this placeholder and, you know, uh, I'll create an export expression, double slash input. At the rate, placeholder is equal to from. From is a value, right? From is a value. You see it's getting located one of one element that is nothing but this auto suggestive field, okay? It is a text box field kind of thing in the auto sensitive drop down. Okay, copy this and uh, now do one thing driver dot find element. I'm writing semicolon, we should not be writing semicolon. Driver dot find element by dot by dot uh, xpath, right? xpath, give the xpath expression. And what I want to do, I want to enter some text. Okay, I just want to type G text. Okay, just as one single letter G I want to type. The moment I type G, immediately these options will not come. Okay, it's an Ajax call kind of thing is happening. The moment I type G here, right? For example, any other thing, 
they will come with a delay, small delay that you cannot uh, recognize. Okay, when I type G, small delay is there while listing this. It's better you provide some, you know, time dot uh, sleep kind of thing. Okay, so uh, let's say three seconds after typing this G, I'm giving three seconds so that these options, if they may not appear in time, it may take not more than three seconds. So I'm giving three seconds. So after that, what I want to do, I want to after after uh, these options are coming, what I want to do is I want to press my down arrow key on my keyboard one, two, three times. Then Gorakhpur will be there and press enter key. This is what I want to do. So for that, I'll create an object for action, change class, action change class, and I'll pass the driver here, the constructor, and here I will create an object reference and assign that object to this object reference. Now using this actions, I'll I'll uh, you know I will say send keys, send keys, and here I'll say keys dot which key I have to press and release. That is down key, right? Arrow down. Okay, arrow down key. Okay. How many times I have to do this? Three times. Dot. Again, send keys. Send keys. Again, keys dot. Arrow. How many times? Three times I have to do that. Arrow down. Again, send keys. Again, keys dot. Arrow down. And after that, again, send keys. This time I have to press enter key. So I'll simply say keys dot. Enter. Okay. And then dot perform. Dot. Perform. Okay. So now I'll just give some time dot uh, sleep. Just give some time dot sleep for five seconds. And after that, I'll quit the browser. Okay. Just for demo purpose, I'm adding this uh, time dot sleep here. Driver dot switch. Now run the switch and see whether. We are able to automate the auto search to drop down field or not. Okay. We should be able to select that Gorakhpur option. So maximize the browser, open this application URL. It has to click on that, you know. It has to click on Delhi, type G. It has to select Gorakhpur and press enter. You see, we can see that Gorakhpur option got selected in the auto search to drop down field. This is how we can automate, okay, a, or handle the auto search to drop down fields using Selenium Python. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye-bye.